Hey guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and this is my friend Rochelle. Hi. Today we are at Mother Vegan. Mother Vegan is owned by Blockheads. Blockheads has really awesome burritos and like Mexican food. They also mm -hmm. own Benny's Burritos, which has almost the same menu as Blockheads. They also, in the past few years, have developed a completely vegan menu. Mm -hmm. Not that their whole menu, menu is vegan, but they have like um, a vegan menu on the back of their actual menu, mm -hmm. and their options are delicious. Yes. They had a restaurant called Mother Burger, which closed down I don't know how long ago, but it reopened recently as Mother Vegan. It's been around for a few months now, but I haven't been able to make my way down. Today, we are here, and we're about to go get a couple options and just basically let you know how it is. Yep. I think that's just the point of the whole video. That's pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, let's get going. Yay! Look at this awesome seating area. Oh. That's not it. Here we go. The place is surrounded by windows, so it's really well lit for photography if you're into that. Behind the front counter, there's a bunch of frozen margaritas to choose from. They also have these really adorable cartoon characters up that were drawn by a graffiti artist named Shiro. I think they should definitely make them into enamel pins because I would totally wear them. So we have roasted barbecue jackfruit tacos with a side of tortilla chips an amazing looking brownie from Sensible Edibles. This is a impossible nacho burger. It looks so freaking good. They actually have tortilla chips in there um, with sweet potato fries that I've already sneaked a few bites of and I think these are my favorite sweet potato fries to date. My second favorite, by the way, is from Hip City Veg. Those are delicious too. And over here we have a bowl. It have to be a little bit healthy. This is a tofu coconut curry. So. I am super excited to dig in. Okay, this is the best lighting we've ever had in an Is It Hype ever. Oh. Hi. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take this off because no need to be attractive now. We're gonna start eating. Rolls up sleeves. Let's get it. Okay, let's, so we have the menu so we can talk about ingredients. I'm gonna mm -hmm. put it up right next to the camera for easy access right there. Um, right off the bat, I just have one thing to say. Number one, these fries are amazing. I've been munching on them during um, the initial, the pre-filming festivities, you know, the photos and whatever. Mm -hmm. And I'm a huge fan. I'm especially a fan of this mustard? some sort of mustard sauce. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 right away, right? Yeah, 10, 10 out of 10 fries. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's do the burger. Ooh, it's a maple sriracha mustard. Delicious. So here we have an impossible nacho burger. Like the most attractive burger I've seen in a really, really long time. Looks like it has a tongue. <laughs> it does. And we have impossible burger, cheese, guacamole, pico de gallo, jalapeno, and tortilla chips in here. So should we just take turns or cut it in half? You can just swap spit. Swap spit. <laughs> All right, let's put the hair back for this. This is not gonna be attractive. Good bite. You even got some in your hands. Mm -hmm. Before anyone else points it out, yes, I know there's avocado on my face. No, I'm not gonna notice in this video at all. In fact, Rochelle's the one who notices in a few minutes and you're just gonna have to just deal with it there for a while, okay? Bye. Ooh, there's like a big jalapeno. Go for it. Mm. Oh wow. Mmm. This tastes like a burrito burger. Mm -hmm. This tastes like a burrito, but in a burger form with amazing bread. Mm-hmm. Oh man, we also mm. like... We I wonder what brand of cheese they use. It's so good. Yo, that is so good. Nine out of 10. I don't know, nine and a half out of 10? Nine and a half out of 10. The crunch the tortillas add, mm -hmm. really, really good. I just love adding more carbs to my burgers, so the fact that it's already in there. I'm happy. I used to add sour cream and onion and barbecue potato chips into my Subway sandwiches. That's good. Mm -hmm. I think that a little bit of like... Thanks, mom. <laughs> You're welcome. There's a lot of jalapenos in it, but it's mm -hmm. not spicy. You know, it just, mm -hmm. it's just a nice little kick. Mm -hmm. That is really good. I would definitely get it again. I was kind of overwhelmed with like the amount of burgers they had. They have a cracked wheat mother burger, an Asian tofu burger, Chicken fried tofu burger, falafel burger, Mexican, classic impossible, impossible barbecue, and nacho impossible. So, lots of options. Tacos, we get our own taco. <laughs> Things like that. 
So this is the roasted barbecue jackfruit. So that's how the jackfruit looks like. I'm generally more of a seitan person myself, mm -hmm. but I've had some pretty good jackfruit stuff, so I'm excited. The roasted barbecue jackfruit comes with a fennel slaw, so that's what's on top, and some lime crema. Let's do this. Take it. Mm. 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 Yeah. Nice. I've thoroughly enjoyed filming with Rochelle because usually I'm the only messy person on camera and Roberto just looks so perfect and shit. But now, I have a friend. <laughs> Equally messy. Mm hmm It's pretty good. It's gonna sound so dumb, but I always see fennel, but like I've never I've never cooked with fennel. Really? Yeah. No, in, in Middle Eastern like food we have a lot of fennel, so it's it's pretty normal for us to cook with it. Almost like a like a cucumber. It's like a it seems like a cross between like a cucumber and like a celery. And I dig it. That's what licorice is made out of. Is it really? Yeah. Well oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah. Are you guys a fan of licorice? Are you a fan of licorice? Mm-mm. I'm highly impressed at anyone who can eat licorice. You can have all my Halloween candy. My dad loves licorice. My great uncle makes moonshine with licorice in Israel. All right, so what do you rate the taco? I give it an eight. I like it. Eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Burger is my favorite so far. Oh, we want to ask you a question. What kind of cheese is on the burger? Chow. Chow? That's what I thought. Ooh. Chow's the bomb. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I'd give the tacos an, an eight and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're very refreshing. And they are filled. The taco feels very healthy, but also very like hearty and filling at the same time. My boyfriend's gonna be so surprised at eating sweet potato. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Do you prefer like regular fries? I prefer waffle cut fries. Okay. And curly fries. Here is the tofu coconut curry. It's grilled tofu, coconut curry sauce, mixed vegetables, and cashew lime crema. The mixed vegetables look like peppers, onions, corn, the little green stripy zucchinis. And I'm a huge fan of um, curry, so I'm actually excited for this one. Oh, it's so warm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is really good. You wouldn't think a burger place would be good at curry. Mm hmm. Bravo. Mm hmm. So you can come here if you want to be junky. And if you want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. They even have salads. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to even show you the <laughs> amount of food on her lap right now. It's not like a little bit. It's like enough to feed a small child. <laughs> I am a small child. Mmm. <laughs> this is really, really good. Amazing. Mm-hmm. I like it. This is probably going to be my dinner tonight. Yeah. I feel like I, I really have to be in a mood to like curry. Yeah? But like when I eat it, I'm just like, oh man, yeah. I like it. 10 out of 10. Curry gets a 9 out of 10 for me. Mm. I make curry a lot, so. She's got preferences. Mm -hmm. She's got expectations. This is like a solid meal that like I don't feel guilty eating. Mm -hmm. That I would definitely eat on like a day where I'm trying to be healthy and stuff. And if, if I was in the area running errands and stuff. And she thick. Like she full. Oh, this is like, really heavy. Oh, 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 oh. We have a brownie. What were we doing? Okay. This brownie is from Sensible Edibles. Mother Vegan also carries a salted chocolate almond cookie, an oatmeal crunch chunk cookie, and a peanut cr crunch chunk cookie. Mm -hmm. I can't English. This intrigues me because it feels dense. Yes. Guys, wow. if it doesn't taste as good as it looks, I'm gonna be so sad because it looks so good. Mmm. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is thick. Also, it's not only vegan, it's also gluten free. It's gluten free? It's gluten free. Yo. She, she's not dry, she is. I'm sorry, people don't like this word. Moist. It is moist. Oh yeah. Oh man. Wow. Oh my goodness. I think this is the best vegan brownie I've had. If you want, if you want to screenshot this and check out the ingredients, go for it. And while I open this drink, Rochelle is going to tell you how to correctly spell her name in the comments down below. Hi guys! So you could, so you could <laughs> shit on her accurately. Yes, please. Please shit on me accurately. It's R-E-C-H-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. R-E-C-H-E. Oh yeah, that's how I've been spelling it. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Alright, wrapping up the video. 
in general, uh, definitely recommend. Totally make your way down, especially now in the summer. They have such a huge seating area outside, mm -hmm. so you can always find a seat. Just come in here, get your food, and eat outside in the nice weather. The food is really good, and I like that they have a selection from healthy to less healthy. Mm -hmm. The curry was super filling and delicious. They have a bunch of salads, but we didn't try any today. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna come back for another one. They also have drinks. We were just handed a drink menu. Mm -hmm. uh, margaritas. Ooh. Tiki Palmer, rum punch, cocktails, beers, all that fun stuff. That's all I have for today. Let me know if there's anywhere else you'd like me to film around New York City. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. Ding. And I also have Rochelle's Instagram in the description uh, down below as well. So, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. Right? Okay. All right. Goodbye! Shout out to my bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Maya, Michelle, and Kaylin. You guys help make these videos possible.